most exciting part of the G League this year. The NBA is not far away. Oh, AI, yo, yo, check out what your boy said about your boy. Hey, hey, man, get that phone out of my face, Marcus. Come no, on. Wait, no, come on, you're going to hear about it anyway. I mean, it's everywhere. Look, Corey Harris ain't the only player in the NBA. Whoa, whoa, look, look, look. It's not just Corey Harris saying it. All of the Lakers are retweeting it. <laughs> the timing could not be better for me. I mean, I got scouts coming to the stands. They don't want to miss the show. This is like chess. So who's running space in whose head now, huh? Who's yo, 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 yo. I don't want to disrupt your flow there, Bobby Fisher, but the scout ain't here for you. He's here for the Flying Dragon. Please, I would have heard about it. He's the Heat's new forward from China, and he is knocking on the door of a 48-inch vertical. You're talking about Han Shi? Huh? Yeah, the Flying Dragon. Yeah. He was on the Jets in China. I, I guarded him when he played us in Shanghai. He showed me up then, but I know his game now. I can take him. No. No, no, no. The Dragon is mine. See, this ain't about just showing off uh, some scouts, Marcus. Uh, this is about winning the game, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this dude, bro. Forget about him. He may be here to scout the dragon. Doesn't mean you can't take his attention. Take it. Yeah, but I can't beat the dragon by myself. But your game plays specifically to his weakness. So I'm going to set you up all night, and we're going to take that dragon down together. All right. Hello and welcome everyone to South Dakota. I'm Blake Suniga with my partners Tim Swartz and Brian Banafatemi. We have Mad Ants Road action for you tonight as they travel in to take on the Sioux Falls Sky Force. And although the Mad Ants can boast their own acquisition from China, the Sky Force, they can claim the same thing. All right, so this game right here was a really important game. We was matched up against the Flying Dragon, the return of the Flying Dragon from the earlier part of the Prelude. The thing about it is, is that this is one of those games that made you wish that these characters, like the Flying Dragon, uh, Paul Tatum, or um, even some of the players on your team, came to the NBA at future points in your career. You know, so the goal of this game was to not only get the win. Ooh, baby, you see the jam. The goal of this game was not only to get the win, but also to utilize Paul Tatum as the advantage against the Flying Dragon. And I did a really good job shutting the Flying Dragon down much better than the first encounter. Um, he still put up in the total, I think, about 14 points, but the goal was to get the win and get Paul Tatum those assists. Now, here's the problem. Paul Tatum kept, every time I kick him to rock, he was kicking it to Marcus Young. And I'm not mad at the end of the day, I want the win, but I'm always going for my goals. So when doing a game like this, I realized something, how I wanted to do my goals when I got to the NBA, how I wanted to do my goals through my, my career. So I decided that I'm going to set up an offensive goal, a defensive goal, a team goal, and then maybe a positional matchup goal. And we're going to see how that flies and how that works. So that's going to, be like, that's going to take a little time right there with that one. But we're, we're close to the end of the prelude um, so far. And this was one of those first games where I realized that if you do the right things, mm, there's the flying dragon still doing exactly what he do, climbing above the rest, had the team impressed. Now, when you play in a, in a more team-oriented uh, uh, aspect, that one thing I realized this time that, that didn't happen the first time I played through the, uh, through the prelude was that I was actually able to get team takeover in the prelude. So going into that, as you can see right now, I don't have it right now. It's not even available to me, but second half is a different half. And at that point, that's when you'll see me can act, I can actually build that team takeover. But second quarter, really good quarter, like I said, scored a few few uh, scoring opportunities I had put in front of me. But as you can see, the Flying Dragon, he was doing everything he wanted to, and I was giving him what I wanted to give him. Threw a shot away. He came in again, took it straight to the rack on me. He missed the shot. I'm going back the other way. Once again, looking for an assist. Now with Marcus Young, I give Marcus Young credit because anytime you give him the bucket, anytime you give him the ball, he going to the, he going to, he's going to try to score a bucket, and that that's cool. But I was looking to try to get Paul Tatum involved, and every time I kick it, he kick it once again to Marcus Young. Marcus Young ain't came about nobody else but Marcus Young, uh, and that's something that's going to kind of play down the line in the story itself. And now Marcus Young is one of those players that. Mm, he just took me straight to the hole and banged on me. See, this that this that point where you want to have you a slasher so you can get that revenge on him. Well, Marcus Young is uh, one of those players that do take the trip to the NBA. Corey Harris is one of those players that you do get matched up against in the NBA. But I would have loved to see a lot more of these 
prelude players, these players in the story, show up. It would have been great. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to build the bar. Fourth quarter kicks in, and now it's all about trying to build this team takeover. So just because once I got that team takeover, I know that I can make Paul Tatum score when I give him the rock. And we just, we just a few good shots away, playing some good defense, get another good block right there. And as you see that boss building up, I'm not playing with I'm not playing with the flying dragon. Close to the team takeover. As you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and try to give me another bucket real quick, turn around jumper. That's the one thing that the dragon couldn't stop. And now we got this takeover now. I got the whole team on fire. It's time to get everything I need to get. So I already know I'm gonna take give it straight to my boy Paul Tatum. Uh that's assist number one right there. Now I know, you know, as you can see, I got five, six assists in the game, but that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the assist that I need to get to Paul Tatum. He wasn't getting none of my assists at the beginning. So I give it to him and then kick it back to myself because he didn't have the lane. Catch him catch a flying dragon with a little bit of a move. And I'm waiting for Paul Tatum to cut, give it to him going to the basket, hit him with the quick floater. That's assist number two. All I need is one more assist for him. And these are the kind of goals that I would love to have seen in the my career experience. Paul Tatum with the final assist that I needed, and now it's going to be that time where it's my time to shine. It's my time to go off. So I, I really did enjoy this game. Um, the Flying Dragon, I broke him down. Once I got that takeover, you already know that turnaround jump is going to be deadly. I'm starting to mix my moves up a little bit better. Little one one step at a time, one day at a time. They they gonna get there. They gonna get there. And I just want to see the the end result when I finally have all these moves I can chain together. I'm gonna take them straight to the hole and dunk on them. And we not done with these people just yet. We still got one. We still got one. We, got, we still got one more play left in us. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got no sportsmanship. You know the flying dragon did me dirty. I'm gonna do him dirty just like that. Finish it with a bang. Your AI. So, you the big scout that everyone's been talking about. That's what you think, man. Am I finally walking? Look, Coach Keller might seem like he has a bag of marbles in his head, but the dude knows the game, <sighs> that, man. I mean, that doesn't really answer my question, but... I'm here, aren't I? Something's still missing. Look, Marcus Young. Kid can play. A lot of eyes on him, too. What's with you, man? I, I try to ask you a direct question, and all I get is this runaround. Like, I don't understand. There you go. Like, the world owes you a spot in the NBA. All I do is work. That's all I do. And I just can't get a break. That's my problem. You said it yourself. Something is missing. Don't ask me for answers you already have. Well, so Marcus has this all figured out, and I don't? Maybe. Look, I like Marcus' game. I've never talked to him. I don't know him. I do know you. People are starting to talk about you. You're making people's boards. Scouts are looking at you. But there are a lot of other guys out there, too. And what separates you? Why should I pick you over Marcus? Whoa. Um, what are we doing right this now? Is, this is my, my teammate, um, Howie. Yeah, I know who he is. His form is impeccable. It's a work of art. <laughs> the rest of his game is basically rec league, but <laughs> his form should be taught in books. You're Big Toonie, right? I am. Well, why is my hand going through you like it does with other ghosts? No, nope. We're not doing, nope. The point is, AI, you're close. Just one missing piece. He did say that thing about my jumper, right? I, di I didn't just dream that? Who raised you? That's what I want to know. Oh, because I'm going to make my future no. children so sick of that story, it's going to be great! Listen, I want you to start selling what Marcus Young is going to be six months from now. Then they're going to turn around real quick. Exactly. See, you and I are going to do great things. Watch. So I'm in Texas right now. We have one more game against the Vipers. But then after that, I want you to... Yeah, uh, I'll call you back tomorrow. I didn't hear you. It's your room, too. You can take a call. Yeah, but I just didn't want to take it in the hallway because everybody would hear me asking, like, Marcus, what's going on, you know? <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, man, I get it. Yeah. Only a matter of time. All right, well, um, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. And uh, I'm sure you got a few more phone calls nah, to make. No, nah, no, nah, I got too much energy. I'm about to go get a run in. You can take the room. Plus, you look real tired anyway. You know... There's more to this game than taking the last shot and getting your numbers. Corey Harris taught me that. Oh, really? Tell me more. Were you guys 
on the beach, under the stars. <laughs> man, go take your walk, man. I met plenty of people like you, AI. You know nothing about me, bro. You think you're special. You think the whole world revolves around your thoughts, your feelings. I got a family and people counting on me just like you. There's 491 players in the NBA. Most of them, like Corey Harris, they blue blood, so everything was just handed to them. The rest of us, we down here, we gotta fight for the few spots that they didn't take. So if the only chance I have is by stepping over my competition, I'm gonna do that by any means necessary. And right now, that's you. You better believe if I gotta go through you, I'm gonna slice you right down the middle and clear that path. Doesn't have to be that way, man. It does have to be that way. And you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, 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 whoa. I touched the nerve. Keep talking, man. I dare you. Keep talking. Hey, hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him, and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. I don't know what started this, and I don't care. It ends right here, right now. You got me? Do you got me? Yes, coach. Yeah, coach. Come on, guys. I came up coaching high school volleyball, okay? And those kids never gave me this amount of grief. Not once! By the way, it's a very complicated sport. Don't know that I ever fully got it. That's beside the point. Get your gear. You're rooming with Howie now. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, we just got to get you some earplugs. Oh, Howie, do us all a favor, dude. Go to the drugstore, get one of those nasal strips, staple it to your nose. Well, no, Doc says it's hereditary. It's so. not hereditary, dude. I'm telling you, okay? You have a serious medical condition. And the rest of you guys, why don't we try to act like adults, okay? It's clearly hard for us to behave like basketball players, so let's just be adults. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go hit the showers. A nine-year-old Metro girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Tracy Hooper was given the liver of a nine-year-old accident victim in a four-hour operation. Hooper is in critical but stable condition, normal after such an operation. Her condition will be monitored for 72 hours to see if there's any sign of organ rejection. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over and what a success it was. Manson skateboarded across Canada in 11 months, raising over $14 million to fight heart disease. He covered over 5,000 miles, averaging about 100 miles per day. Manson says he wants to thank all who donated to his cause and wants to remind us that even though his journey is over, the battle against heart disease must continue. Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners of this past weekend Super Lottery draw. The pair came forward to claim an $11 million prize. Hey, I! Oh, it smells like exhaustion and sadness in here. You're lucky I got some medication. Uh, why does this look like something I need a alibi for? I know how you get hard on yourself, okay? So I was walking back from the pharmacy, anti-snore strips in hand, when I ran into this guy in the alley. And he looked tweaky, but he knew a guy who called a guy, and... BAM! <laughs> whoa, 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 hey. Pretty sure fireworks are illegal here, bro. Not when we're five miles from the Mexican border. Mmm, somehow that makes him sound more illegal. Will you relax? Fireworks are illegal within city limits, and since we're in the middle of nowhere, you can lighten up, my friend. By lighting up. What do you say? Uh, I'm only gonna ask one more time. Let's do it. Hey, <laughs> hey come on, man. Oh. Quiet down. I'm not any louder than the fireworks are gonna be. Look, I'm just trying to make sure the coach doesn't notice us. I'm already on thin ice. Let's be honest, man. We played like garbage tonight. We were uptight. We were stiff. That the road's getting to us. For the good of the team, man, you need to chill. Right, right, Blow listen. some steam. I'm having a great time. I just want to make sure I keep having a great time by not getting caught. Oh, well then. Here's a big old double shot of good time right here. I light one end, you light the other. Amen, let's not hit the bus. 
five, four, four three, two, two one. <laughs> oh, I told you. Oh, I think I'm in love. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, 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 Howie? Uh, Yo, Howie? Uh, oh, Howie. Oh, God! Oh! Uh, yeah, I, I think it's time we, uh... Yeah, we're inside. Okay, let's just say that this didn't happen. What didn't happen? Nothing happened. Run! All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. Unfortunately, the fire department says the cause of this fire was most likely fireworks. Some kind of projectile. Pow! Okay, and I'm especially bummed because I lost all my cool clothes in the fire! Now the fire department has to go inside the building and make sure it's all safe for us before we return. And guess what? That's time we don't have. That might take all night. Howie! Huh? I'm, uh, why, well, yeah. Yeah? Did you go to the drugstore? No. Get those breathing strips like I told you? No. I, I mean, yeah, yes. Breathe and clear, sir. All right, good hustle. Thanks, coach. The rest of you guys are gonna hustle onto the bus. And I'm gonna try to figure out who started this fire! What kind of basketball team burns down their own hotel? On the bus. Everybody. You can't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> Wait, what, what you mean? Come to our game again, da da da, that's all you said. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Um, I'm in our game against the Memphis Hustle. It's our last row game, the classic. Playing in the old school gym in Nice Town. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Can't wait to see you. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing, just um, the road, this game. You're on the right path, AI. The bigger vision, it's there. Yeah, that's what Big Toonie keeps saying. What? Big Toonie? That's like seeing Bigfoot or Einstein and they had an encyclopedic knowledge of the Eurostep. You <laughs> met him? Yeah, yeah, I actually met him a couple times. Okay, and this is the first time that you're telling me? This is the first thing we're talking about when I get into Nights Down. All right, get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that might be a problem. How come? Mm, well, uh, there was a fire at the hotel. What? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody's, everyone's totally fine. It's just, um, you know, just a crazy accident. Uh, but, you know, we sleep on the bus tonight, so... Never a dull moment. Yo, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button in the center. If you like that video, check this one out on the left. If you're looking for something a little bit different, check this one out on the right. We're doing all games all the time. We're always going to be trying to push something new. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.